Uh, what's going on everyone? Thank you for joining me today's video. Hope you're very well. I'm getting straight into this video because it's taken me an, over an hour just to try and get the stereo out of these cars. Um, like I said, I'm going to go straight into the video. So today we're going to be changing the interior knobs, heating knobs in here. Because uh, we've got these standard Ford ones in here which are nasty. So don't need that. We're going to be replacing them with some nice ones in here, some aluminium ones. You probably would have seen them when I did them on my ST, but being a typical Ford, um, it doesn't play ball. The interiors, that's why I never bother doing my, bother mucking around my interiors because it's just an absolute pain in the ass to, I, I ain't got time to sit in here and fart ass around by changing LED bulbs and putting lights in here. I ain't got time to do that. I'd rather focus on actual doing maintenance stuff, you know, building, and replacing things, proper things that does actually need replacing, not bother around with changing the interiors. I don't have the patience to sit here and take plastics apart, I really don't. Um, so I'm doing this because the standard knobs in here are a bit chewed up and a bit horrible looking. Um, I thought it'd be a straight swap. So this is what we're replacing, we're replacing these. So yeah, I thought it'd be a straight swap, you know, but no, it isn't on these Fiestas, unfortunately, it is an absolute full leg of a job. You have to remove the standard stereo. And by, by the way, the Ford, let me find it, there it is. Fucking hell. These stereos, look at the size of them. Look how bulky they are. Now Ford, you made these stereos back in the day. And I don't know if you still make them in Fords now, um, but they are absolutely shit. They are terrible. Um, why? Did you also put these stupid little pinholes at the bottom to try and release it? I've busted all mine up. As you can see, I've ripped it all apart. I literally got fed up. I went to Halfords, went and got these little pins to try and remove the stereo. Because I lost my ones, typical when you're trying to do a job. <laughs> and um, the pins didn't work, and I was just getting frustrated. So in the end, I got a I got a bit of cloth, like a microfiber towel. I've got a prior removal tool and I've got it right under the and I yanked it right out of there and you heard all the metal pins and that bend back and then it just ripped it, I just ripped it out of there. I literally gave up over an hour doing it. I was like, right, no more mercy now. Ripped it straight out of there, bent all the pins back. I'm gonna get a, um, a tournament, I'm gonna rip those pins off. So I'm just gonna slide the stereo in, put a bit of tape around it to hold it in place. And that'll do, because I am gonna change the stereo and I'm not gonna bother putting that thing back in with the pins, because now I've mucked them all up. And I don't give a crap because that stereo, Ford stereos are crap. I hate them. Um, but anyway, let's get on to today's video. <laughs> Sorry about the little rant again. Enjoy. If you're unusual, you know, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, then, guys. So, buddy, look at this typical, typical Ford interiors, man. Cheap. Anyway, yeah, I got that stupid stereo out there. My mum just came down. She goes, Oh, you got the stereo out there? And I was like, Yeah. I showed her these pins and she goes, oh no, not those pins. They cut into your fingers. I'm like, yeah, they do. You know? She goes, oh, stupid design. Because we struggled with my mum's stereo years ago trying to get it out. Um, so after you remove the stereo, all this becomes a bit loose. Well, it doesn't. You have to undo the one bolt there. Another one there. You've got to remove all these things on top. Because hidden in here, I don't know if anyone knows that, two bolts over there. And right down in there, in the middle here, where the end of my finger is, Right down in the middle, if you guys can see in there, there's a, there's a screw in there. Uh, but the ones on the outside, the four on the outside are um, crossheads, screwdrivers, and the one in the middle is a Torx piece, which is a T5 or a 10 or something like that. And then this becomes all limp like that. So the rest of it is only held down with plastic clips, I'm guessing. So you just get a plastic trim removal tool and then you just yeah, work your way up and around the trim and then you should be able to remove all this so yeah and what we're gonna do now i'm gonna remove all these trim pieces it should just pop off really just be careful as you're doing it obviously there's a clip underneath this one halfway up here and i'm guessing there and then there's two up there i'm guessing all right i'm gonna be gentle with this i'll be back in a sec Right, welcome back guys. It's been about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, quite a while. <laughs> uh, no, not to get that off. <laughs> I was fiddling around trying to uh, get out in here. I had a built-in telephone, one of those 
parrots. So I've just been ripping out all that underneath the dashboard because I couldn't get the actual panel off. I couldn't get that panel off because all the wires were attached to the back somehow. So anyway, I managed to get it all taken apart now. Um, I'll sell that parrot, you know. Someone else can use that. Uh, but anyway, now I've got that off, I can get to these two screws here, which is what you need to remove next. Out of the way, two screws. Uh, so you need a uh, crosshead screwdriver again to remove all that. And then same over here as well. Okay, after you remove that, it's just, it should just come off. It should just pop off, lift it up. Sort of some clips down there. Ooh. A dusk. <laughs> Did you see that? A dust popped up there then. Right, okay, so that's really, really tight. You have to try and get the hind over here to remove all the little mechanisms at the back. Just be careful with them. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to go get, grab something to eat because I'm literally losing energy right now to even concentrate doing things like this. So I'll be back in a little while and then we'll carry on. I'll pick it up in a minute. 20 minutes later. Right, welcome back guys. So I've got that lower part off. That is really difficult to get that off. Um, basically, you have to, on here, this goes into the back of this panel, that side. There's a, on, on this actual white panel on the back, there's a spring plastic bit. You need to bring that, you need to pu push that down. All right, and pull that out. It's a bit tight because it goes up there. It's not much, you can't get much slack on it, but it does come out. And then on here, this is the difficult part. There's a uh, Torx piece on here. So you can just about get a screwdriver in there, undo that bolt, and then this twist, you can see these little tags on top here, and they twist, and then you pull it out, and then just unclip that. To remove that piece and then um, I'm just removing the front panel here to replace it with the uh, well you, you get the idea um, so yeah I'm just uh, butchering this up trying to get these off to swap over to the focus one which is this one so these plastic tags here I need to get these out these little star pieces and replace it with those in there. You get what I mean? So I'm not going to film this just yet. Let me uh, have a look. I'm still figuring it out. Let me have a bit of play around this and I'll get back to you guys in a sec with my verdict. Right, guys. I don't know how long it's been now. It's almost dark already. <laughs> yeah. Um, the on, as you can see. Uh, sorry I didn't film me doing it, but I'll tell you what. I was just playing it by eye. I wouldn't know what how to even film and hold the camera and so i'm going to try and explain the best i can all right so let me put a light on so as you can see they're on um so the focus panel that you saw i had earlier where has it gone oh that one down there and the white piece that looks like that basically inside Oh, there's the there's the part of the focus panel. You need to remove that piece so you can get to the pins. Let me try and pull that off so I can show because I've got to glue it yet. It's coming. Okay, so see this black part in here. I chopped that bit off the focus, and I've pushed it into there. So then it slides over the Fiesta pin. In there, as you can see, it's got a flat bottom piece, so there's only one way it can sit in there. And it just pushes in. It, it, it's that's the only one that needs it. The rest of them are the right size. These two are the right size. The only problem is, but I've worked around it. They say you need to chop the, the Fiesta pins, as you saw on here. You need to chop one of these. As you can see, it's got little grooves around it. You need to chop one of the grooves off. Um, so then when you have the little pointy bit, it points at the one that you want, but on this side, it points at the heater. So as you can see, my little bit's missing. I pulled it off. I saw it was only glued on. So there's the pointy bit. So I've just pulled it off 
because originally it was facing downwards like that so that every time I turned it it would just go like that so it wouldn't actually point on a number so I was like oh there's only glued on so I pulled it off and I'm going to glue it there like that so every time that's number one sorry that's zero and when I turn it go to one turn it again go to two so then you know it points at the one that you want so I've worked round so I'm done now here now I'm fed up this is so not worth it it really ain't You're taking all this off and hurting your hands and yeah it's a uh, it's a long boring job um, but yeah that's the only way I can I'm gonna work round without chopping those bits off it's just pull that off and glue it back on into its right position that way it's pointing at the right one I need to glue I need to glue them all on now into position um, I'm using some Use some super glue Loctite brush on. Um, this stuff is incredibly strong. So as soon as it's bonded, that's never ever going to come off. <laughs> this stuff is really, like I said, really, really strong. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to paste a little bit on there, paste a little bit on there, and paste a little bit on there. Push the tabs back on. Then glue the little ring on there. Chuck the dash back together. Put the stereo back in. Then call it a day. Because it is literally now getting really really dark it's probably not showing up on camera but it's getting dark i'm losing light i wanted to get on and do some sanding down today as well but no this is just taking too long so let me uh button all this up get some glue into place and uh then i'll show you when it's done i'm gonna leave the camera to roll for a minute before i do that this bit at the back so this little black bit down here that bit there um you want that gray piece like it is down there be all the way down the bottom like that not all the way at the top like that um, so you want it all the way down the bottom not too far probably about that far um, so then you can try and pull that wire off and try and pull that thing out the tap as you see I snapped that bit to get that out of there because that was really really tight in there so you'll probably do end up doing the same but it can't go anywhere um, as you can sort of see it's can't come out of there it's tight in there just be careful like I've tried to be careful but it's the only way to get that thing back on and there's a screw on there as well so um, yeah you have to twist as soon as you undo the screw you have to twist this black part counterclockwise I think it is to undo it and then um, to put it back in undo all that wiring and pull it out and the black piece is then away from the wire and you can stick the black piece and the screw back into the main part before putting it back in there and then once it's back in there just do what I do now just line it back up get that wire get this little piece here and push it back into place and then push the wire back into place and then just make sure it twists and everything like that like mine's doing all right it's just thought I'll let you know this wire it does actually come out from up there um, as you can see it does connect to the white piece at the back there so um, as you can see it moves um, at the moment, mine's not in position. I need to get it into the right position. There it is, like that. So once the dash was back together and it's all buttoned down, um, there you go, it moves now. All right. So yeah, a lot of fiddling, a lot of uh, just fiddling. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so as you can see, dashboard is back together. Um, I was just making sure these are all pointing in the right direction. I glued them all in. So these are all been glued now. The back piece has also been glued. So now the pointers are in the right place. This one's a bit fiddly because <laughs> I forgot which way this one was facing. So uh, make sure when you do it, is facing the windscreen. Um, if you do get confused, just try and find the right knob, which was on there on there originally. And because um, each of these knobs, standard Ford ones, um, they are only um, made to fit one part of that. So this one looks like it was made for that one. That one down there was made for that one. And that one down there was made for the middle one. So these have their own Pacific areas. Um, so this one was in there like that. So that one would have been facing upwards like that as well. That's where the flat bottom piece is. You can see it's flat on the bottom there. And in there that would have been flat on the original forward piece. Um, then I just pulled it back back a bit off here. Re-glued it into the right position so it's facing upwards like that. And that one's facing, and that one's facing on the off position. So I'll turn it on. Two, three. So they're all facing the right position. Um, so yeah, each own little standard Ford knob only has a specific one it can attach to, and that is that. Now it looks absolutely fantastic. I ain't gonna lie, um, but is it worth it? uh no and a little bit of yes it does look great i must admit but what an absolute horrible pain in the ass job that really was it was a very very long look at it now that it's almost getting dark out here it's almost dark got the lights on because it's so dark in here so yeah um it's up to you guys if you want to do it like i said you just got to take your dashboard tart apart take your stereo out take this off um, two screws under there pull that down under your bits at the back remove it completely remove the fascia as well this black part here there's um, one screw and two screws at the bottom here to remove this black part out a black part and then you can get to this bit behind where the numbers are and where the color bits are you can get to that bit behind then you can remove that chop off the little knob uh new knob piece for the middle um i don't know what we call it it's <laughs> sounded a bit rude but you get what i mean and then you glue that piece onto the new heater knob and then you push it into the, the existing fiesta knob that's inside here because you can't actually remove that metal pin the metal pin is actually connected to the heater part here which twists that bit in the background um you can't actually remove that pin and then the new bit that you chopped off and glued onto here will just, it will, it, see it is moving, as you can hear, so it is doing its job. You just need to glue them, just make sure they're all glued into their right position. Remove these caps, into put them in the right position, so face them upwards or, you know, make sure it's on the off. Take these caps off, then put them in the right position as well, glue them in, in position, and then just redo it all back up. It sounds, it sounds simple, but I'll tell you, it wasn't. It was horrible. It was a horrible, horrible job. Getting that stereo out was the worst. That took over an hour. Um, I also removed the Parrot control panel that was in here, which is even why it took even longer. So that's all out there. That's all been removed. Um, so yeah, there we go then, guys. I'm just going to put the stereo back in, make sure it works. And then I'm going to call it a wrap. Um, so yeah, let me get this stereo back in and then we'll look at it when it's all put back together. backing panel on here um, as well. 
think it's the LED, the lights in here keep flickering on and off. I should have done that before um, I did all that, but never mind. I'm not going to bother. I'm not in a rush. I'm just going to go and scrap dark any one of these. Just swap over. I'm not too worried about any taking all this off again. The stereo. <laughs> the stereo is dead. I'll put it back in. It worked for a second, then it went off. Yep. It's dead. It's dead. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to leave it there then, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Take care of yourselves, guys. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And check out my Teespring storefront. Links are all down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this helps someone. I really do hope it does. <laughs> see you later.